Hello everyone. Welcome to Python learning series for network engineers. This is the third video on how to automate device provisioning in EVNG using Python request. In the first video we have seen how to initiate API connection to EVNG and spin up the device using templates. Here we are taking total number of instances required as an input from user and based on the input given we are creating the instances. In the second video we have seen how to delete instances when user gives the instance IDs. Now here we will try running this script for creating instance. I will give 5. Now this created 5 instances. We can log into EVNG. and this creates total 5 instances. Now here we will see how to get API for connecting this to a network and power on the device. So to get that I will click on more tools go to developer click on this and Let me save, stop recording and we will go to the request. So here we can see one request it is a put method and here we can see the URL it is instance id slash interfaces. And the data we are passing is this that that varies depends on the instance number and the network name and all those things you should be able to get it based on your environment now if we pass this data to this particular url interface will get connected for the device Now I'll try deleting the connection. Copy this URL. We'll go to our previous script. Device provisioning. And we'll call this as 03. network connection and switch on now we are already receiving the instance id here we can use that so i'll add a description here interface connection and here we'll do a print connecting the interface and add interface url is let me go to the browser and it here then you create another interface map equal to and we can see the data here We need to send this as a string. Connect 
interface equal to then request dot the method is put method there so I will call that as put method and URL is going to be add interface URL then data is going to be interface map then headers is going to be headers the variable then cookies are the same cookies whatever we are using for connecting to now let us just try printing the connect interface dot json output we'll try running it i'll give two yeah now this is printing the instance id and the saving lab has been saved we will see the status here now this has been connected and reason for only one to get connected is I have given only ID 9 here now what we can do is we can make this as a formatted string give the instance ID here device id that is device id not instance id okay, we will try deleting some of these instances I'll try this. Yeah. Now we'll log in and see. Okay, we have now only one device. Now let us try running this script. I'll give two. Okay, instance ID is nine and lab has been saved. So let us check. Yeah, we can see here now both devices are having interface connected to the particular net network now if you want to switch on the device we can get the api details from even node start uh, in the postman here we can see the node id slash start will start the instance we can go to code here and select python request From here I can copy this. Open PyCharm and we can start writing the script. I will call that as start API. And you can even write in same format. This is going to be a get mother request.get and URL in our case URL is going to be URL is going to be here
it is going to be a formatted string and here we need to give device id and we will pass cookies here the same cookies whatever we were using I'll just add a print statement here starting the device and print start api dot json and I'll put a comment here okay we'll try deleting these two instances We'll try running this now with three devices. So we can see the message here for each node, this prints the status. Like first it is creating the instance, then connecting the interface. We're getting the message lab has been saved, then starting the device then this is for instance id then for instance 11 now if we go to our eng we have now three devices connected to net and it is booting now if you see here each device is having separate telnet port in eng for example if you click on this in the bottom left we can see the port number it is 32778 for this device and 32777 32779 and if you want to access the console of any of these devices we can open terminal we can initiate a telnet connection to eveng eveng ip is 0 0.12 now we can give the port number 32777 so this is getting connected to the direct console of the device now same way if you want to access other device three two double seven eight so all these devices can access using this method now in the next video we will see how to access this and provision initial configuration and for that first we need to get the telnet port number of individual device using api then using that telnet port number we will initiate connection to eveng provision our initial con configuration i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to initiate api for provisioning interface and switching on the device thanks for watching see you in the next video